Okay, uh, today's rant from me is about the undeserved popularity of banana. <laughs> it's a very popular thing. Before I go on to uh, why I think it's undeserved, let's just look at some statistics first, right? 28% um, of all fruit sales in the UK, bananas. 95% of households in the UK buy bananas every single week. And most telling of all, I think, except for petrol and lottery tickets, banana, more money is spent on bananas than any other supermarket item. That's, that's a very popular thing. Now, some of you might enjoy bananas or think you enjoy bananas, which is sort of okay, except when I come on to the, the obvious objective faults of ba bananas, you'll see that they, have, they affect others. There's some passive effects from bananas that we shouldn't have to bear with. So, here we go. Taste is the first thing. The most important thing about food is taste. So what about the banana? Well, some of you may like the flavour and aroma. I don't, but that's up to you. But more importantly, it's a fruit. And the, how you sort of qualify whether fruit is a good or a bad thing is the balance of sweet and sour, sweet and acid. It's got to have that balance. Sugar has, uh, uh, bananas have no acid really. They're 20% sugar. They're just sweet, they're out of balance. It's a poor fruit in that respect. There's about twice as much sugar in a banana than there is in a fizzy drink. There's something wrong about that. The smell is number two. Now, some people like the smell, but this is where it comes, this pa the passive sort of aggressive thing bananas give you. You open a banana, you unpeel a banana, and basically, within 20 feet radius, everyone smells that banana. And some people might not like that banana. I find exactly the same as that when people open a can of Red Bull, and you get that smell everywhere. It's disgusting. Shouldn't be allowed. Number three brings on to the flavour do dominance of the banana. And this is one of the, one of the things that really annoys me about the banana. A banana you put into anything else, like a fruit salad, suddenly everything tastes of banana because it gets into the juice, it gets into everything, it starts tainting everything. If you put it into a smoothie, you've got some really nice fruits there, and then the banana goes in, tastes of banana, everything tastes of banana. So it's just there, it just covers up everything and makes everything taste of banana. Number four, the texture of the banana. Now a nice fruit is lovely and juicy. Is the banana juicy? No, it's all floury and it's fibrous and it's dry and it fills your mouth. And this is another thing that which I think it, it can offend other people because as soon as someone puts a bit of banana in their mouth, they can be the most attractive person you've ever met. They start looking really ugly, go mouth like this and it's just full of banana. And I just think this is, again, one thing that's offending us. We've got, we've got a certain amount of problems here. And, and lastly is the most annoying thing, just as a, one of its side effects, let's say, is the ethylene it gives off. And what, it, what it's doing there, it, uh, ethylene ripens fruit. And so you put some bananas in a bowl of fruit, and essentially it's going to ripen everything, and you get some lovely crisp apples, and they get all spongy because you've got an apple, you've got a banana in there. And this is, uh, again, another problem with a banana. So here are sort, sort of some basics about the banana. But now we, we'll go on to something about the, um, w why do we think, when there are all these negative things about the banana, why do people eat bananas? And I think it's down to that, that thing that I find quite uh, loathsome in the general food thing at the moment, it's the health benefits of food. You know, all we, ne all we need to do is eat properly balanced food. We don't to have to eat these things that are supposed to give us certain benefits. And what lots of people say to me when they have banana, when I, I go on about the banana, they say, well, it's full of potassium, isn't it? It's, it's great for you, the potassium. I say, well, you know, A, are they full of potassium? And B, is that really good for you? Well, let's, first of all, are they full of potassium? They've got quite high levels of potassium, I'll give you that. But, you know, not as high as some things. We get a quarter of all our potassium from food from potatoes. And then we get it, after that, we will get it from meat, vegetables, cereal products, milk and milk products, and beverages and drinks before fruit and nuts, of which banana is just one of them. So maybe we get 1% of our potassium from, from bananas. So we don't need it for, 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 for that potassium bit. And the second thing is, has anyone ever heard anyone really of lacking potassium? Is it all over the papers? Oh, there's a deficiency in potassium in the UK population. No, there isn't. There is not a problem with that. Because we get it from all our other foods. So we don't need bananas. So just to conclude really here is that what I would say is that if you want to go and eat bananas, 
do it in the, in the comfort of your own home. Don't offend other people. But, you know, go and do it. But if you actually are doing it for any health reason or anything like that, step away from the banana. Go and get a nice, crisp, beautiful, homegrown apple, crisp, beautifully balanced, that hasn't been shipped thousands of miles. Come here and enjoy that. And don't offend people with your banana ways. Thank you.